are the linear equations below dependent or independent? And they give us two equations right over here, a system of equations. And so just as a little bit of review, let's think about the different types of relationships between lines we can have when we're dealing with two variables. So we're going to be dealing with two dimensions. So let me draw myself some, some coordinate axes right over here, some coordinate planes. So let's call this the x-axis, and let's call this the y-axis. And let me copy and paste this, since I'm going to do three different scenarios. So let me copy, and then let me paste it. So that's another scenario right over there. Let me scroll a little bit over to the left, and then let me throw in the third scenario right over there. So when you're dealing with two lines, there's a couple of different ways that you can think about it. You could have two separate lines that do intersect. So you could have a line that looks like that, and a line that looks like that, a line that has a different slope, and they definitely do intersect. You could have two lines, you could have two independent, or I, I won't use that word just yet, because I'll explain what it means. You could have two lines that are not the same line, so but they don't intersect. They have the same slope, but different y-intercepts, so they are parallel to each other. These are parallel lines. Or you could have the two lines are actually end up being the same exact line. And I'll do that by coloring it right on the same point. So this is the same line. So this is the same line. So these are lines with different slopes that intersect. These are lines with the same slope, but they, they are two different lines. They have different y-intercepts. These are two lines with the same slope and the same y-intercept. They're essentially the same line. So when we think about lines like this, and these lines are set, re represent the solution set of equations, the first two right over here, where we have two separate lines, they're not the same line, we call these two separate equations as being dependent, or these two lines, or sorry, we call these two separate equations as being independent. They're not dependent on each other. These two are the same thing. These two are dependent. So let me clarify this. This is independent, 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 and this is independent independent right over here. If you have two different lines, then you're talking about independent equations. If you have the same line, then you're talking about a dependent. You're talking about two dependent equations. They are essentially the exact, they represent the exact same line. And this is when you refer to when you re, when you refer to the equations themselves. Now, in a kind of related notion is when you look at the system as a whole and you think about how many solutions the system has. So this is when you think about the equations, it could be independent or dependent. Dependent is the same line. When you think about when you think about the system as a whole, you think about how many solutions it has. And if it has no solutions, you call it inconsistent. And so this is the only one that has no solutions. These lines never, never intersect. So this is inconsistent, inconsistent. While these, this one over here has exactly one solution. This is consistent, consistent. And this one over here actually has an infinite number of solutions, but it's still consistent. You have at least one consistent. You have at least one solution. Now in this example, they're asking us whether the equations are dependent or independent. So you will we'll look at this classification up over here. So if they are just two separate, if they can be represented by two separate lines, they're independent. If they're the exact same line, they are dependent. So let's figure them out. And the best way to figure them out is to put them in the exact same form. The second equation here is already in mx plus b form. Let's put this top equation in mx plus b form. So we have 4x plus 2y is equal to 16. Let's subtract 4x from both sides to get rid of the x's on the left-hand side. So let's subtract 4x from both sides. On the left-hand side, you're left with 2y. On the right-hand side, you're left with negative 4x plus 16. Now we can divide both sides of this equation by 2. By 2, so we're going to divide all the terms by 2. And we're left with y is equal to negative 2x, negative 2x plus 8. So when we put this first equation in mx plus b form, we actually got the exact same thing as this second equation right over here, that these simplify to the exact same thing. So these are actually the exact same line. They both have the exact same slope, and they both have the exact same y-intercept. Same slope, same y-intercept. So they are the same lines. These equations right over here are dependent.